Hello and welcome to another story to help you improve your English. In this video I will be telling you a summary of the epic trilogy of films which is The Lord of the Rings. It is a great set of films, it is one of my favourites. You will recognise some of the words as I tell the story. Put the subtitles on guys, they are in the settings, put the subtitles on so you can follow a little bit better what I am saying and if there's any words you, you don't understand you can pause and translate the words into your native language. Okay guys, here we go. In this story there are different types of people. There are hobbits who are very small creatures with big feet. There are men like us human beings. There are also elves. Now elves have those pointy ears. There are also dwarves, who are small creatures, a little bit bigger than hobbits, but they are still dwarves. Also, there are wizards. Wizards are very powerful people, of course, as they wield magic. And there's also orcs, who are a disgusting creature. One day, 20 rings were made, 20 rings of power. Three rings were given to elves. Seven rings were given to dwarves, nine rings were given to men, and one ring was made by Lord Sauron. And Lord Sauron is a powerful dark wizard, and he put all of his dark energy and magic into this ring. The person who had the ring was corrupted by its power, and Sauron could then control him and therefore the world with the great power that this ring wielded. If you had this ring, you had a lot of power. Of course, men are known to be very weak. We are very weak-minded and we are corrupted easily by money and power. And this is exactly what happened. The nine kings of men with their rings were easily corrupted and became horrible weird creatures going after, trying to get this one ring themselves. There was a great battle between the orcs and Sauron against elves and men. That's right, before men and elves there was an alliance. They were teams, they were working together against these dark forces. There was an epic battle, and in the end, elves and men, they won after fighting very bravely. The son of the king of men uh, was the commander-in-chief. He was the commander in this battle, and he had the ring, and he went to the place that was needed to destroy it, in the heart of a place called Mordor. Mordor is this volcanic rock that has rivers of lava flowing through it. This is where you need to drop the ring. You need to drop the ring into the lava. It is the only way to destroy this ring. It was forged, it was made in this fiery place and it needed to be destroyed in the same place. No other fire could destroy this ring. So, he is there and he was just about to drop the ring into the lava, but the power of the ring started to take control of this man. And he suddenly thought to himself, imagine everything I can do with this kind of power. And he was easily corrupted, just like men are. So he turned around and he started using the ring for himself. This was bad news, but fortunately, in an accident, he died, and the ring fell into the sea, and no one found it. It was incredibly fortunate, incredibly lucky that this happened, because this ring is very dangerous. Many years later, there are two hobbits one of them, whose name is Gollum. His name wasn't Gollum then, but we will say his name is Gollum, because this hobbit changed. 
He and his best friend were fishing in a boat by the sea. There was a big fish that they caught, and they were laughing and having a good time. This fish was fighting against their fishing rod. And this fish was actually very big, quite strong. So he managed to swim away, and Gollum's friend, he was trying to pull it in with his fishing rod, he fell into the water. And as he was following the fish down into the water, he eventually let go, and he let the fish go away. And as he was down in the water, he saw something very shiny in the seabed, the sea floor. It was the ring. So he was quite curious, so he grabbed the ring, he picked, he picked up the ring, and he swam back to the shore. There he was drying himself off, and his friend Gollum came to see him. Gollum was still laughing from their activities before, and he asked him, Are you okay? What happened? And they both saw that he had the ring, and almost immediately they were both hypnotized by the ring. Gollum asked, Can I have it? And he said, No. And then they started fighting. Two best friends, in five seconds, started fighting each other for something they had only just found. The fight continued for a few agonizing minutes, and eventually Gollum killed his best friend and took the ring. He took the ring and he went up into the mountains to protect it. Over the years, he slowly became changed by the ring. He wasn't a normal hobbit anymore. He was some grey, hairless creature who spoke differently. He had almost two different personalities. One was his normal hobbit self, and the other was this horrible, greedy monster inside him that was controlling him. Another character pops into the story. His name is Bilbo Baggins. He is a hobbit as well, but he is a keen adventurer. He likes to go on adventures. And one day on his adventure, he comes across Gollum. And in a very lucky, fortunate turn of events, Bilbo manages to escape Gollum, and he finds the ring. So he takes the ring and runs back to where he is from. Bilbo manages to steal the ring, but as the days pass, he is becoming corrupted by the ring himself. So this is where Gandalf appears in our story. He is a great wizard, one of the best, and he knows about the ring, and he knows it needs to be destroyed before the ring gets back into the hands of Sauron. This would be incredibly bad, because Sauron would then control the whole world, and it would be an awful world to live in, full of war and smoke, pollution. This is the first part of Lord of the Rings. It will take many parts to finish this epic story, so hopefully you understood a lot of this story, and you will join me in part two of the Fellowship of the Ring. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Lava. Weak-minded. Fishing rod. Let go, the shore, keen, manage, to manage, he manages.
Would you like the opportunity to have great power? Do you think you would be corrupted by the ring? Why are men so weak-minded 